The slowest part about the Sony FX3 is the fact that I'm still editing all of the footage on an Intel MacBook Pro. Today, I'm going to take less than five minutes and explain to you why this is the fastest camera I've ever owned in multiple categories. It's the fastest camera that I've paid off, it's the fastest camera I've used operationally, and it's the fastest camera in terms of frame rates and options that it has. I've never missed a shot with the Sony FX3. When it comes to the FX3 being one of the fastest cameras I've ever used, a lot of that has to do with the features and customizable functions of this camera. Starting out with the Cine EI Quick, I literally never think about ISO. It's one of those things that I know that if I'm changing it on the back of the camera, I have the latitude in post to be able to make those changes to the final image, knowing I'm getting the cleanest image shooting at the base ISO of 800 or 12,800. 12,800 is super practical when it comes to shooting in event spaces where I don't have control over the light or just don't have time to set up lights. The customizable buttons on the FX3 mean that every single control I would ever need to change, including frame rate, is within one button press of where my hands naturally fall on this camera. Change my white balance, adjust my shutter speed, aperture, ISO, and frame rate. I even changed one of the custom function buttons so that when I'm holding the camera in more of like a lower mode, I have access to focus magnification whenever I use this camera with vintage glass or I just need to manually focus it for any reason. This makes operating the FX3 in a minimal kit super easy and it gives me more options to not need to rig it out when I want all of these extra functions. Now, if you've been around the channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm obsessed with all things audio. Even in this new talking head setup, I've changed things so that hopefully my audio will be exponentially improving over time. When it comes to audio on the FX3, the thing that absolutely blows me away is the top handle and the ability to get 24-bit 48K audio directly into the camera. That's how I'm making these YouTube videos. And the last five videos, I've literally had it on auto gain. Now that has to do with XLRs and the XLR microphones you're using have exponentially less self noise. So auto gain on a mic like my MKH-50 is absolutely pristine compared to using something like a Rode VideoMic NTG or any of those lower end 3.5 millimeter based audio solutions. Where this all becomes super important is when you're doing post work on audio. So the cleaner you can get your signal straight out of camera, the better it's going to be working with it in post. That's why I use the FX3 exclusively with the top handle only removing it in event situations where I know I'm not going to be using audio because a DJ is playing a lot of copyrighted music or audio is not the priority for that event. This wouldn't be a complete FX3 video if I didn't address the king feature of this camera, the frame rates. Being able to shoot 4K 120 is something I never thought I would be super happy about until I had it. Being able to shoot 120, 24, 30, 60, whatever I need, I want that within one button press of whatever I'm doing. I don't wanna be locked in at 120 frames a second, but I also don't wanna be locked in at 24 frames a second. Adding to the list of basically every FX3 owner on the planet, Sony, if you see this, can we get shutter angle? That one last feature alone would make this hands down the fastest camera on the planet, and there would be zero competition. Shutter angle is something that my S1H has had for a number of years, and I honestly think it's made me a better filmmaker overall, being able to understand that controlling my light is a function of aperture and ISO, and also just introducing better light in my scenes. When it comes to the FX3 being one of the fastest cameras for event capture, I mean it. It also applies into the fact that this was one of the fastest cameras I've ever paid off. And it all came down to the ability to cover events where this type of a camera was required. I can safely say, I think I've created the best sub $10,000 kit for event capture and light commercial work. That kit includes the FX3, newly added the Sony 24 to 70 version two, the Sennheiser MKH-50, which you're listening to right now, Sennheiser AVX wireless module, Sankin Cos 11D, and finally the Moment one to five stop variable ND. The FX3 is such a fast camera that there's a 100% chance I left out a lot of really important things. If you have any other questions about it, please feel free to drop them in a comment down below. I will be doing my best to answer as many of them as humanly possible. So 
Hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next video.